Hello, this is Builder Elephant, and welcome to our eighth update as we build the 1960s Bat Cave. We finished up our minifigures in the eighth round of bags, and we got to build the penguin, a very classic looking penguin with his suit and purple top hat, purple bow tie, and of course you can't have the penguin without some kind of umbrella, so there you've got a simple umbrella. And because he has that top hat and no hair piece, there is only one facial expression on him, and I think all the other minifigures have had two. And of course, you know, we have to build our Robin minifigure. And, you know, he's got the classic Dick Grayson Robin outfit. And this one does come with two facial expressions. He's got that nice little smiley face because he's happy. And then on the back, we've got the ah, because, you know, let's face it, Robin often gets himself into a lot of trouble and Batman has to save him. The only thing we did in the Batcave this time was put in this side to just kind of make it look more finished and we did that for both sides of our bat cave but that's really all we did and i'm not sure why we just didn't finish that up in the seventh round of bags but there you go our bat cave is finished Besides the Batmobile, the Bat Helicopter was one of the things I really loved in this set. And I'm, we finally got to build it in the eighth round of bags. You've got that huge bubble canopy that just, you know, screams 1960s. But of course, it can move up and down. So you get the minifigure in there with the little joystick controls. And um, you got the huge landing uh, fins here on the bottom. Um, I love the fact that you have these huge bat wings and there's a green light over here and a red light over here and it does come with some flick fire missiles so you got one flick fire missile on each side. Um, you got those big old tanks on the side and the rotor looks really cool and of course it spins very easily because Lego's been making helicopters forever and I love this you know you've got that like kind of like the steel grating that you usually get with like some bigger model builds in here they used it for the back tail of the helicopter and they got that big old fin and of course you can't have a helicopter without a side rotor and there's the side rotator for balance so uh, the helicopter can steer because the helicopter is no good if you can't steer it but there is the bat helicopter and I'm really excited we finally got to build it even if it was waiting till the eighth round of bags. We finally got to build the Bat Cycle, and this is a simpler build than I thought, but still a lot of fun. It just has, you know, the typical motorcycle uh, chassis, and then the cover plate, and you've got that yellow brick for the headlight, and it is attached, and I love the fact you got this little bat wing between the motorcycle and the sidecar. Spare tire, very important, because you don't want to, you know, lose the bad guys because of a flat, and our wheels do turn, and there's enough room for a minifigure to fit in there and ride the motorcycle, and nice little coned front with a little red and black. Um, so a very simple build, but I, I really like the design and it's going to serve its purpose. In the eighth round of bags, um, we built a lot of accessories to our back cave. Now you may remember a few updates back, I built this like random chair and I'm like, I have no idea where this is or where it goes. Well, it's because it doesn't go anywhere. Apparently this set has lots of little like accessories and set pieces that you build and just put wherever you want. And really, there's not enough room on the model itself, so you're really just putting them anywhere you want outside the model. Um, but here we've got a little lab table. Uh, you got your chemicals and empty beaker, another empty beaker over here. And I love this. you got a little magnifying glass to look at the Joker's chemicals and see what he could have made it out of. And of course, it's 1960s, so it wasn't deadly. It was something kind of more comical. And here's another lab shelf, and you can see everything's attached to these labs, so nothing falls off. Um, just, you know, bottles and big bottles, small bottles, little beakers of chemicals, the nice little tops on top of those to give it a little cap. And I love the way you make the legs here. It's just, you know, these little poles with some tile clips on the side. And I like that design to create a shelf. So that was kind of a cool little build. And then there, here's one of those just little fancy bat computers that can be rolled around. And um, there will be stickers to like put the, you know, the lights and sound on it. But you got the little green and red light because as it's processing, of course, you need lights flashing. And the final little set piece was this recording machine where they could listen to tapes that they may have recorded or found and um, really cool thing is that little piece there you see and there's a keyboard but that piece there if I open the door it comes with three extra tapes so you can like kind of pretend like you're switching out tapes or you've got a whole um, file of tapes um, in your library so that's another little cool little accessory build. If you enjoyed this video please subscribe and you can click on the image to watch another video. Until next time let's keep building together.